Hi, welcome to your CMU Sports Report. I'm Tyler Wynn. Standing here alongside me is CMU women's basketball head coach James Arnold. Uh, we've just been here following the selection of them, hearing that they have got their bid for the NAI National Tournament, matched up against Oklahoma City in the opening round, which will be played March 13th at noon. Uh, coach, talk about first just being uh, invited now to the National Tournament. Well, it's a great step for our program and quite an honor to be recognized as one of the top 30, 35 teams, 32 teams in the country. And uh, we're certainly going to have our hands full to playing the defending national champs. Uh, don't know a lot about them yet, but we're certainly going to begin that process tonight of learning as much as we can. Um, you know, we're asking the ladies to start back at practicing again in the morning, and we're going to get a couple days of lifting in before we head out. And so it's a commitment on their part to, to add a little bit more length to the season, but I know they're excited. We're excited as a coaching staff. Our community's excited. Uh, it's a great step for our program. Uh, we're celebrating it today, um, but starting tomorrow, um, the journey begins to try to see what we can do in Kentucky. We're certainly going to have our hands full, but uh, we're excited about it, and uh, I'm anxious to see what we can do against some of the best. So you guys draw the defending national champion in Oklahoma City, a tough uh, opening round matchup, but nonetheless a great opportunity for you guys to make a statement. What are your thoughts on that uh, early on? Well, you know, if you're going to beat somebody, you might as well beat the best. And we knew that, uh, you know, we were going to be probably on the eight line, maybe the seven line, sneak up there. And either way, all these teams out here are, are quality, good basketball teams. We know we're going to have our hands full. The, the good news is, is that they've got to find out as much about us as we've got to find out about them. And you get it on a neutral court in Kentucky from Oklahoma, Missouri. It, you know, there's really not a ton of advantage there. Oklahoma City's been there before. Uh, strong tradition, new staff, some new players. So, you know, it's going to be exciting. And, and we're just anxious to get back to work in the morning, anxious to get on the bus and head south. And our administration, our school is extremely excited and supportive for us. And tonight's watch party was outstanding. And so um, it's just really exciting time for our ladies. But after we leave here tonight, the, the work begins. And uh, coach and staff has been busy all day. And it was, it was ex enjoyment, but also relief to see that we were in the pool and uh, I thought the hack as well represented for the first time with three teams Benedictine and, and, and Mid-Am and then us and I thought Baker is as good as any team in the league as well and I think eventually uh, they're going to realize the hack is worth the four teams just like some of the other leagues and so we'll get there as a, as a conference so it's a really exciting time and um, we're anxious to get started. This is the first time for this program of reaching the NAI D1 uh, National Tournament. Just talk about some of the things you guys will do practice to help these ladies prepare for that. Well, you know, we've talked with Coach Sherman and his staff. They've been extremely helpful in how to deal with some of the ins and outs of, of the tournament play and how things are set up with your limited warm-up time and uh, some of the travel arrangements and things to worry about. You know, the big thing is at this point in the year, we're not going to reinvent the wheel. It's important for us to fine-tune some things, do some fundamentals, some skill work, make sure we're not losing an edge conditioning-wise. Today, as an off day was probably value for our kids. Tomorrow is going to be somewhat of a light day. So it's important for us to make sure we're healthy as we can be and that we're taking care and doing the little things as well as we can and to get as much scouting information as we can to prepare ourselves. And like I said, Coach Sherman, his group has been helpful for us to figure out some things, ins and outs, little things that might be helpful for us to make sure we don't have some hiccups just from little um, logistical things that we've got to deal with with our first national tournament. You mentioned how the hack does have three teams representing uh, and could have had a fourth in Banker or in Baker. You guys have knocked off Benedictine and mid -Am during the year. Talk about that competition and how that will prepare you for facing some of the best in the nation. Well, and I also think those two games, as well as William Woods earlier in the year, who, who is in the tournament, um, I also think what could be extremely beneficial to us is going to Southern Illinois and playing in an arena-like atmosphere, going to Chicago State and playing in an arena-like atmosphere, even at Emporia State in a smaller arena-type atmosphere could be beneficial with the backdrop. Hopefully, you know, certainly playing the best teams. Our league is going to prepare us, because our league is really good um, and uh, you know it's going to be nice to see what the hat can do to see what we can do and I think that obviously playing against mid with their level of talent and playing against Benedictine it, those are two top 12 teams in the country top 11 teams in the country is certainly going to at least allow us to have seen uh, on a regular basis some of the nation's best. Coach, we wish you the best of luck. CMU women's basketball team will open the NAI National Tournament March 13th at noon, facing off Oklahoma City. We'll have that and all your live stats at CMUEagles.com. Also follow us on Twitter at CMUEagles. I'm Tyler Wynn.